Today, we're going to be talking about what makes us happy. Hey everyone, welcome back to another I'm so happy, oh my gosh, episode. We're the host. My name is MJ. My name is Adam. Welcome back to another MJ and Adam show. If you're the first time here, welcome. Become our friends because, hey, you you are our friends. Thanks for joining. Me and Adam, we'll be talking English, full English conversation so you can improve your listening as well as understand the Western mind just a little more because English mm -hmm. isn't only about speaking and communicating. It's also about learning the mindset. Today, everyone, we're going to be talking about what makes us happy. Hey everyone, did you know if you join the YouTube members down right next to the subscription, if you're on the PC, there's a little join button. You could join our membership here on YouTube, me and Adams. And a big perk that you get, you can tell us what kind of topics you want us to talk about. And that's what this video is. We asked all of our members and we got a really good one that came back. Here it is right now from Komaki. It says, hi, MJ and Adam. Did you find a thing which makes you happy lately? Actually, I found a bakery and coffee shop near my house in my neighborhood a few days ago. I'm really into eating bread lately and I'm, it's super tasty. I'm happy to find it. Thank you so much, Komaki, for the support and for this great topic idea. I think this is an awesome topic because, you know, in these times, it's pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are having difficult times, but it's it's hard to remember these small things that kind of can make us happy throughout the day or in our lives, you know, and it's something that we maybe easily forget. It's, it's easy to remember like the bad stuff, but the happy stuff sometimes needs a little more attention. So what makes you happy, Adam? nostalgic things things that mm. take me back to times like in my childhood or times where i felt really happy or things that i can think about so like recently at lunchtime when i'm working i go for walks instead of you know going out uh, and eating out all the time I, i make a sandwich i'll go to the nearest park and just sit down and and just look at the birds and people walking by and eat my sandwich and then continue on a walk. So there's this store that near where I work and, and it sells a bunch of old retro toys from, from Japan, from around the world. Mm -hmm. And I like to just go there and not really shop for anything, but look around and see what kind of toys um, were popular. Of course, they're all overpriced. They're all like <laughs> over like Ichiman for these toys they're collectibles now yeah, collectibles yeah. yeah they're all collectibles so there's a lot of stuff and a lot of times I, i wonder like what it might be like to play with them when i when you know a child playing with them or like seeing the ones that i remember from when i had them as a child seeing them in the shelves and and just thinking about those times that wow like these things aged really well or people took really good care of them um they must be very precious and now they have such a high value so It's very interesting to see like things from the past just showing up in Japan randomly in a place that I would have never thought it would be. But I see this like I go there pretty much every day uh, because there's also another thing that I like, which is cameras. There are two or three camera shops nearby and I go there to look at the lenses and the cameras and video <laughs> just, drool. <laughs> just drool over stuff and just like play and fiddle around, I think. The staff might get irritated that I don't buy anything, but I just go and enjoy looking at the new technology and seeing stuff that I can't afford right now, but someday I hope to be right, able right, to right. Yeah. Yeah, afford yeah, yeah. and to be able to use. Looking at the, th the items that I'm, I'm curious about or looking at items that I want to buy and wondering uh, what the future holds for me, wondering about my past and thinking about all that stuff is just, yeah, it's a good Part of my day is lunchtime and going for walks and just, you know, enjoying that. Okay. Okay. So daily, <laughs> this is, yeah, specifically, yeah, yeah you're speaking yeah. In, within daily and how this nostalgic things from, yeah. from when you were younger can right, bring right. a sense of happiness. And that totally happens. I think I forgot what we were talking about, like how like older people will like, you see their eyes like light up when they hear like an mm. old song or something right, right. that they heard when they were kids. And that just makes you like comfortable, which then can make you feel, you know, some people feel happy and excited about right. some stuff. Yeah. Another thing that you were just talking about, connecting with lenses, cameras, a hobby, things that you like, that is, right. that is definitely going to trigger those happy emotions in your mind. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that's common for everybody when they go yeah, and yeah. they, if they're, they're looking at something that, that they deeply love and they have a hobby mm-hmm. of, then they're going to get excited and that can keep you happy. And I think that's like a really good way to, to, to keep you on like for the, throughout the day, if you're having like a hard day or something like, right, right. You know, like you're saying, like not even, you're not going to there to buy anything, but just going in there and like checking it out. And I think there's also a sense of buying stuff also makes people happy. Mm-hmm. You know, even if it's For stuff sure. you don't really need, just like you just buy stuff and you're like, yeah, you feel so good. And then you right. look at your wallet, you're like, ah, oh, man, yeah, not so happy anymore. But <laughs> I got a this. roller coaster <laughs> happening right there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Dude, there's so many things that, yeah, make me happy that I feel like connected with hobbies so mm. much, so much. So, right, like, right. The easy thing for me that I can think of is playing Kendama. Playing Kendama mm. just puts me in this like almost meditative mind state where it's like, you just forget about everything. It's just you and the Kendama right. and this trick that you're trying to do. Uh, if it's a difficult one, if it's an easy one, but in the end, I'm released from whatever stress I had at that time. I feel like happy. Like I have mm. some energy. So that gives me like right. happiness. Um, another thing I'm happy about is to listening to music. When I listen to music, True. especially yeah. stuff that like puts a smile on my face. And again, going back to it, like, that's why, like, when I'm getting into like this, these, these idol uh, musicians and bands and stuff like that compared to everything else, like puts the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know if it's because it's cute, because it's funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's like a hard connection with Japan, which, of course, like we love. That's why we live mm-hmm. here. We came here mm-hmm. so much interest. So that's a part of like the hobby thing. It's like amplified within the music. Right. That makes me happy. Give me a boost of energy. Energy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another thing that makes me happy is like getting stuff done, which is something I'm trying to work on. Everyone trying to focus in on to make. So I, if I get more things done, I'm like, yo, I should be even happier. Right doing these things, um, disciplining myself to get things done. And at the end, seeing how much I accomplished, that makes me happy too. And that's kind of, that's maybe a bigger one. It's not like a daily thing that I can do, you know, listening to music, playing Kandama. That's like every day I can throw that here and there within my schedule to keep my spirits up and, and to be happy. So Komaki was talking specifically about food, Adam. Is there any, you know, we know about comfort food. Uh, we had a video, yeah. we talked all about it before. Um, is there anything that, hits you like for me, right? I mean, I'm cooking my stir over here. <laughs> cookies <laughs> was the thing that I had. And I was like, yeah, cookies. For me, it's coffee. Okay. I don't drink a lot of it, but I, I feel relaxed. Maybe that's not a good thing. <laughs> whenever I'm tired, for example, I'll have a coffee or whenever I, I need just time to breathe, I'll have a coffee. Whenever I feel like stressed out, I'll have a coffee. Uh, in the morning, bef- you know, with my breakfast, I'll have a coffee and like it's because it's hot and it has flavor and aroma and, and you know, put some milk in it or whatever. I think that's like something where I can just focus on drinking the coffee. Yeah. And not think about anything just like, you know, uh, eating cookies as well as like Ooh. you can just enjoy and savor the moment of having the coffee or having your cookies okay. and being able to just like embrace that time you have for that specific thing because like time is very valuable at mm. this moment you know? yep. you don't yep. have much of it so just being able to do that take time and have a coffee is, is like makes me happy as well Ooh, do you enjoy yeah. making the coffee too? the 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 tedious work to make a coffee how do you make uh, coffee do you enjoy that process because i think that's uh, it goes to another level of coffee lovers i think i want to but again, it's, it's, there's no time. Being able to do that, it's like it puts you in a, a, a mode, right. like kind of meditation, I think. Right? I think yes. that's what it's about. It's like a meditative state where kendama, eating cookies, listening to music, going for walks, like making coffee, all of those things puts you in this like state where you're just like, I'm focused on this. This is all I care about right now. And right and Yeah, it. you're focused in on the now. And I think that is really helpful because people who think too far in the future or Mm. about the past, the regrets that they have can give stress. And that stress leads to negativity and not being happy pretty much. And when you meditate, it's all about learning about 
what's happening right now, focusing on mm-hmm. now, what can you do now to make you happier to, to, you know, fulfill your life and what you're doing. Right. And so yeah. he's focused on now. So I think, yeah, like we're saying these things where we're like living in the moment makes us happy because we're not stressed out about what's going to happen in the future, mm-hmm. goods yeah. or bads, or we're not stressed about of all the bad decisions that we made in the past. It's just like this thing right now is good. Mm-hmm. Therefore yeah. I'm good. Everyone let us know down in the comments below. What did you think about this episode? Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I did. Opening up is pretty awesome to do. So let's be happy together. Comment, Mm. subscribe, like the channel. That's it. We'll see you on on the the next next step. step.